In this lecture, I will show you two additional functions that connect sales orders with purchase orders. So we will use drop shipments and special orders to do this. First, drop shipment can be set up with purchase codes. If you go to search and type in purchasing codes, you can use drop shipments. In this case, system will automatically post purchase receipt or special order. In this case, these two orders, both sales and purchase will be connected, but we will deal them separately. So now I will deal with drop ship shipment functionality. For this, we would need new sales order. I will just prepare it for data in customer. Now I can choose some items. Let's take some desks. I will put some quantity of one. As you can see, we have still automatic reservation. Let's take that off because we cannot reserve. We can cancel reservation from this line. Hit OK. And let's switch back to item card and turn that setting off from always to optional just like it was before so I will just delete this line and pick this item again we don't need locations quantity of one now with two additional columns drop shipment and purchasing code I can tell the system that I will be connecting sales order with the purchase order with purchasing code drop shipment now I can go with OK we have new sales order now using this additional menu with purchasing I can go to purchase orders and create new with London Postmaster Vendor. Now I need to connect it with my customer with customer address and customer data in now I want to use drop shipment get sales order now I have all the data in customer sales order list now I can check with cart option check the document and escape and OK to choose the one for the purchase order. Now let's switch to sales order. Go to sales, sales orders, and it's 1018. And now I can proceed with posting with the sales order and you will see that system will automatically post purchase receipt so let's use post ship and invoice now we have posted the invoice we can open it and also we can print it with a preview And now let's check in purchasing 
purchase orders and the last one for London Postmaster for quantity of 1 we have quantity received with 1 we can check receipts and navigate and see some item ledger entries connected with this automatic purchase posting. Now we can proceed with the purchase invoice to finish this task.